the 7.2 magnitude earthquake that struck uh, in New Zealand. As we understand it, it struck about uh, four miles from Christchurch, which is, which is a city of about 380,000 people. Joining me on the line is Paula May, who's there in Christchurch. Paula, we, we appreciate your time today. Uh, what can you tell me uh, about what you know of all of this, what you may have felt? Oh, it was the worst earthquake I've ever felt. And um, we, the house is... The house is still shaking. Now we're having many, many aftershocks. We have a pool in our back garden and it's half empty. We have no power. It is, it is quite scary. Yeah. And I just heard on the right that there are buildings down in Christchurch. So, so tell me, give us a sense for our viewers in terms of what time it is where you are and when this struck and where you were in your house. Just play this out for us. Uh, we were upstairs in a wooden old, you know, 1920s home, and it was shaking. I've got three small children. It was the scariest thing. Um, but we, I mean, we've got stuff down all over our house. But we, I mean, we're 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 alive. You sound you sound pretty out of breath, Paula. I, I, it's very scary because it keeps. It, we, we're getting many, many aftershocks, even as as I was on hold waiting to talk to you. And you say that you hear that the building's down in, in Christchurch? In central Christchurch, there's a few, a few buildings down on the floor, I've heard. We've got no power, so it's, it's 5 a.m. here now, and um, it's been about half an hour. But, um, but yeah, it's, pre it's pretty scary. Have you been able to reach out to, to friends, to, to, to family in the area, and get a broader sense of how everyone else is doing? Um, I do, yeah, we've, I've only spoken to one, a couple of people, and, and, and they're okay, but... Um, closer to the sea, I think there's a bit of water up because um, we're very close to the sea here. Um, and there's some concern about a tsunami, obviously. All right, well, Paula May, I, I know this is a difficult time for you and your family. As you say, your electricity is out. You're still feeling these aftershocks. We're going to let you get off the phone so you can attend to that situation.